Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, today we're going to be talking about the tracking ability of the Spot X satellite messenger. Now, I did a short video a few weeks ago or a week ago about how quickly the message went through. As long as it has a clear view of the open sky, I was uh, really amazed at how quickly the message went through in that video. If you want to go back and watch it, you can kind of tell in my voice. I was shocked because I was thinking two to 20 minutes maybe the message would go through and it literally went through in less than a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm just driving around here in southwestern Oklahoma. So you can see I'm just cruising down the highway here. What I plan on doing is I'm going to take this Spot X and I'm going to throw it up on the dashboard and see how often it tracks. It's supposed to send out a tracking beacon every 10 minutes, so I just want to see how well it responds if it's on the dashboard of a car. It'll have a mostly clear view of the sky through the windshield, but it may not be completely open, like if it was just sitting out in an open field. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by sending a check-in message. So you can see here on the screen that it is um, 248, 1248, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna go ahead and send that check-in check -in message and I'm gonna start tracking. And I'm gonna just set it up there in the windshield. So 1248, I sent the check-in message and I started the tracking. So let's see how long it takes before we get our first track. Obviously, uh, I'll have to answer that in post-production here. So you can see I'm not in a mountain wilderness or remote area and I actually have cell phone coverage. I just bought this to play around with and test it out. And of course I will have it as an emergency. If an emergency does arrive, I may actually really need it. Who knows? I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. All right, Crazy Postman here in the editing bay. I just wanted to show you how quickly this showed up. So you can see here on the left, this is where I left my town. And evidently when you power up Spot, it sends an initial message to the satellites because right here I got a message that says powered on and that starts the tracking. But really over here is where I was making the video. I put the check-in message right here and it says, hey, this is Crazy Postman checking in via satellite. Everything is fine. This link is my location. No need to reply. That's what it sends the people when I send that okay check-in message. But I said right after I set that on the dash, I said that I turned on tracking. I got my first tracking mark just right after that at 1249.06. So it talked to the satellite at 1248.54 and then immediately again at 1249.06. So even though I'm just driving down a highway, out here in Oklahoma, you're almost always in the middle of nowhere. So. I may legitimately have no cell phone service at uh, one point in today's uh, trek. Evidently, somebody uh, sent me a text message because I just got a message on the spot up there. When I get out of this town and get on cruise control, I'll grab it and look at it. So somebody did evidently send me a message. You can see up in the top corner that there is a message to view. I'm just gonna go ahead and send one of my predefined messages back that says no. <laughs> that doesn't actually cost me a message. So we'll go ahead and say no. I'll send her my location and we will send it. I'll put this back up in the dashboard and we will continue the regular tracking. Not sure why she sent a message to this. She knows not to message me at this number, but that was funny anyway that she did. Completely unscripted. All right, so let me zoom out here and show you where we're at now. So here's my first two, my check-in message, and then that first tracking message at 1249. 
So you can see here at 1259, so that means the satellite received it right at the time it was supposed to, nothing was blocked, it went through perfectly. So then I turned south and my next check-in message was at 134. So there was some problems between 1259 and 134, but I did get a check-in down here in Frederick at 134. And then after I left town, right here's where I got that message from my mother. Actually, that's not where I got the message. This is where I sent the no. So I got her message somewhere down here. And obviously that doesn't show up on here because I'm not transmitting to the satellite. I'm receiving. So that one does not show up on the map. But when I answered her and said no, it does show up on the map. And that was at 138. So moving on up after that, the next spot is 204. We missed a few more messages along this stretch. So maybe these north and south stretches are more of a problem for the antenna than the east and the west stretch. I don't know, but maybe how my car was oriented or the hood or something just got in the way. But our next message was at 1204. So I just called my mom on the phone. What she couldn't figure out was it sends your latitude and longitude and she didn't know how to look those numbers up to see where I was. So I, I sent her a link to the tracking information from that so she'll be able to see my live position data now. So I'm just going through some uh, no name town out here in the middle of nowhere and just to show you I do not have any cell phone coverage here. So yep definitely uh need the satellite sometimes so i'm about to go through another area here around the lake with all these mountains where i will not have cell reception you can see here um, there's a giant lake here and then there's mountains all around it the cell phone will not work here in just a minute you've already seen from uh, the video so far that the tracking works great the messaging works great. The only asterisk there is it has to have a clear view of the sky. If you have a clear view of the sky, you're gonna have no problem using that Spot X satellite messenger for tracking and messaging purposes. So here we are in these uh, mountains here. I know a lot of people make fun of me for calling them mountains because we are in Oklahoma. This is the tallest thing we got here. So these are mountains, y'all don't make fun of me but you can see here the uh, cell reception is out and we are definitely relying on the spot messenger for service if uh, I needed to use messaging in this area that would be the way I'm gonna do it so hopefully while we're going around these mountains it can show you on the map that it is still tracking maybe I will <laughs> I'll send a check-in message while we're here so you can see there we go I sent the check-in message it is 312 we will see what time that message goes through now that we're in the middle of all this mountain mess so maybe not exactly a hundred percent clear view of the sky here some of the angles are a little bit steep because there's a mountain right there so let's see how long it takes this message to go through and I will close out the video in the post-production process so thanks for watching and I will see you in the editing bay okay future crazy postman here in the editing bay so you can see the lake that I was talking about and how this road kind of goes around it and right here is where that message went through at 313.08 I zoom out here, you can see the whole trip throughout the day. So 313.08, and then we got another one at 315. So that would be the normal tracking message, and this was a check-in message. So it looks like to me your check-in messages are extra. So you will still get a tracking message every 10 minutes. So you can see here 306 and then 315 is 10 minutes apart 
but here in the middle, I set that check-in message at 313. Hang on a sec. What's going on in here? So we got rudely interrupted there by my puppers barking at some people. If you want to hear about that, you can stay for a little bit after the video. I'll throw that in there for fun. You can see I did turn off the tracking before I got back to town. Um, I don't know why I did that, why I didn't leave it on the rest of the way, but I did turn it off a little bit before I got back. I was like, hey, I'm dead now. I'm turning it off. So my final check-in was at 325 and that is it. So just for fun real quick, let me turn on the complete last month so you can see where I've been. Now all these check-ins have just been me messing around with the satellite messenger from my vehicle. I have not went on any hikes. This is just in my vehicle sitting on the dashboard. I did do a few interesting experiments, and here's one of them. Okay, so this was an experiment I did on the 26th of March. On this trip, I did like we did on the last trip. I left the Spot X on the dashboard underneath the windshield with a clear view of the sky. So this next trip here on April 2nd, I just put the Spot X in the cup holder between the two passenger seats. It does not have a good view of the sky, but it was able to check in a few times throughout the day. So you can see I turned it on at 947 and it checked in again at 958, a little bit more than 10 minutes. So maybe it had some trouble getting in and then it checked in again at 1008, 58, 48 basically. So it checked in still every 10 minutes even though it was in the cup holder. So this is the return trip, 150. It was still able to get out pretty regular tracking updates. So that's pretty amazing. I just wanted to throw that in there kind of as a bonus. So thanks for watching this video about the Spot X. I love technology. It's fun for me to tinker with these kind of things. So if you're a prepper or you go out hiking or you want some kind of emergency backup messaging system, this Spot X seems like a pretty solid thing to invest your money on if you are into stuff like that. So thanks for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Who is it? I got the cordless mic in my hand. We're in the living room now. Who is it? What's going on out there? Boom! <laughs> Who is that? Boom! Is it a person? There's some people out people out there standing around my car and the dog does not like it. We're going to go outside and investigate. I don't know if the computer microphone will reach that far. Uh, they're gone. Disaster averted. The car is okay. I don't even know if y'all can still hear me out here. Good job, duck. You got the bad people. Yes, you got the bad people. We're coming back into the editing bay now. I have no idea where I was.